Golfers say to me every day that they really struggle to take their driving range game out to the golf course. I've got a couple tips, a couple strategies for you so that you can play better golf out on the golf course. The first technique is called interleaving. Now I know that's a funny word, but simply what it means is rotating from club to club. When we play golf out on the golf course, we interleave between clubs, meaning we hit our driver and then we hit a sand wedge and then we hit a three wood and then we hit a seven iron. When I go to the driving range, what I notice is, is that golfers hit 10 seven irons in a row, then maybe 10 drivers in a row and 10 wedges in a row. That's really not preparing us to play on the golf course. You're gonna have so much more success if you hit a driver and then a sand wedge and then a three wood and then a seven iron. That's a different method of practicing that really is preparing you for the golf course. I have to warn you, it's harder. Interleaving on the driving range, you're not gonna get as good of results. You could go through a practice routine and think to yourself, boy, I'm just not improving. But it is gonna prepare you for playing on the golf course. Let me show you how I hit a few and uh, how I would practice. So once I warm up my body, I hit maybe 15, 20 shots. Now I'm playing the first hole on the McKenzie golf course and I like to hit the driver. So I get real specific about my target. There's a nice oak tree I'm gonna aim at. And I go through my normal routine, just like I'm on the course, and fire away. And now I've got it down there in the middle of the fairway, and I normally hit my five wood. So again, I pull out my five wood, and pull a ball out, and I go through my routine. And in my practice sessions, I'm not necessarily chipping and putting. So now we're gonna go to number two. Number two is a, a long par four. So I start back behind the ball, just like I would on the course. Get real specific with my target. And again, as you can see, I'm rehearsing my routine. So I can put this club away. I usually have about a nine iron in. And on this particular shot, I'm in between clubs. So I'm in between my nine and eight iron is what I've decided. So instead of a full swing, I'm gonna hit a knockdown. So I'm gonna be real specific with my target and I'm gonna take my three quarter knockdown swing. All right, you did well on that one. Okay, on to hole number three. And I'm usually hitting a seven iron. And I like to hit a high draw on this one because I'm gonna imagine the pin is on the back left part of the green. So I go through my routine get really specific about my target, and now I'm gonna hit the high draw. All right, very good. This is how I would practice, and this is how I would get the most out of my practice to take it to the golf course. Next time you're out at the Top Tracer driving range, try this technique. In fact, on the Top Tracer, you can even pick a course like Pebble Beach or St. Andrews and play the holes so that you get the most out of your practice session as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got a few more coming, so make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.